New. Okay, what's new is you get some cool things from Yu Yu Gear. We've got um, this is kind of an update change horrific thing here. We've got the Zero for You, which is well, it's it's a USB. I guess what's what the U stands for? It's a four port USB hub, um, and this is a version a modification. It's a little bit lower cost than the one we've already got in the store because it doesn't have the pogo pins on it. So let me show you. So this is a hub, and basically you get a mini B. Uh, not micro B port here, or you can power it through this uh, XH connector. It's got four standard USB one or two ports. And this is in comparison to, um, let me show you what we have that's in stock, because it's a little different compared to this. The one we stocked already has pogo pins. See these pogo pins that stick out? When you um, have a Raspberry Pi Zero, um, this attaches to and hits these pogo pins here, and so it fits on the bottom and then it, you know, connects to the USB that way. This version does not have those pogo pins. So you see like this one doesn't have anything on the bottom. It's flat. So you can still um, get to those pads. They're here so you can solder wires, but it's a little bit less expensive because it doesn't have those, those pogo pins, which need to be um, hand assembled on. And also it's much flatter. So if you want to have this on top and then you have a little cable instead of the pogo pins, or maybe you want to have it side by side and you have some wires, Either way, it's actually kind of like a nice low-cost hub, and you know, if you, it's customizable, and you can you can hack it if you like. Um, so check it out, zero for you without pogo pins. And if you do want the one with pogo pins, we also stock that one as well. Okay. Next up. Also from UU Gear, we have the zero to go Omini. This is a very neat. It's a very well-designed piece of hardware. It's an add-on for your Raspberry Pi. It's, you know, it looks like a zero, like a bonnet, but you does, it can work with any Raspberry Pi um, because it connects only to the headers, doesn't have jumpers. And this one is a triple input buck boost power supply. I think it goes from like 3.5 up to like maybe like 20 volts or something, maybe even more. Uh, check the tech specs for the exact voltage range. If the voltage input on uh, whatever the voltage is highest on the three inputs, their diode selected, it'll pick that one. So it'll pick the highest voltage automatically um, for the converter. And if the voltage is below 3.5, sorry, below 5 volts, so it's 3.5 to 5 volts, it'll boost that voltage up to 5. And if it's above 5 or so volts, it will buck the voltage down. And it can do about 2 amps either way. So you've got like a quite a powerful power supply and you have like a really wide range of inputs. So one input is um, a micro USB. So I'll show this off because this there's actually so much going on here. There's a micro USB input. This is one of the inputs. Now again, even though it's a micro USB shaped, it doesn't have to be 5 volts in, but like it's kind of intended for this would be connected to a power pack, like a, a, a wall adapter. The next input, input number two, uh, has a 2.54 millimeter, 0.1 inch pitch JST XH connector. So you can, you know, fit um, a 1.1 inch connector in here. Or you can get a proper XH connector. Um, those are available online. And the third one is um, this one that just, it's a terminal block. You press it on these to release the terminal wires, but they're, they're snug in here now. And this one is um, just for any wire stranded or solid core. And it's, it's, you know, normal bonnet style, so you, it comes with standoffs and you just um, plug it right onto your uh, Raspberry Pi. I'll note, uh, and they mentioned, if you're using this with a Pi 3, you'll want one of these lifters because this sits so uh, low against the board that uh, on a Pi 3, it'll actually kind of like bump into the um, camera connector. So you would use this in between to make it less skinny, but work better on a Pi 3. Um, regardless, Here's uh, the two uh, converters with one buck and one boost. There's also an ATtiny84 in here. This microcontroller is pre-programmed with different functions you can control over I2C and they provide software for that. So you can set um, different like warnings. You can like, like, I think you can read the voltage and stuff, maybe even the current usage. Um, and it can control things like this LED. Uh, this LED tells you whether it's in buck or boost mode. It can also tell you whether it's on. Like right now it's off. Um, and then when I press the button, it acts as an on-off button, it turns it on. So you can control that functionality 
uh, whether it's normally on, normally off. Check the um, manual because it's in a lot of details and I'm not remembering all of it um, perfectly. Basically, three inputs, about three and a half to like 20 volts each. Whatever the highest one is, buck or boost in, gives you five volts, two amps out. We'll uh, power up your Raspberry Pi and then my controller over I2C for customization if you want it. Okay. Very handy. Tonight, the star of the show, besides our community and you, Lady Ada, is uh, it's a series of things, and there's there's just three different colors. There's three different colors, but they look almost the same here. That's yeah. why I'm going to show them on the overhead. It's a Charlie Plex bonnet. This is a green one. This is blue one. This is a green one. I know you can't really tell. Uh, yeah. It's yes, you, you look at the date code. This is actually from a year and a half ago, and I just kind of never got around to making these. Yeah. Um, I made this kind of after the 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 Charlie Plex wing, and um, it's a eight by sixteen. IS31FL31, what's the part number? 3731 uh, uh, Charlie Plex controller. We like these. Um, use them in breakout boards and uh, feather wing. And now we have it in a bonnet size. So I could fit 8 by 16 LEDs, which is actually good because there's a lot of fonts that are about 8 characters tall, 8, uh, 16 characters wide. And each LED, it's single color, but it's 8 bit. PWM resolution, so you can have multiple brightnesses, which uh, lets you do really cool effects and uh, we have three different colors, and, and on our website, if you go to the page, you can choose from blue, green, or warm white. And you might be wondering what happened to like red, yellow, and cool white, and the answer is we didn't have enough LEDs. You need a lot of LEDs to make these, and so yeah. we decided to wait till we got more. But to get these started, start with the Let's first two colors. Let's show what it looks like. So I have it here, so even though it's a bonnet, of course you can use it on a Raspberry Pi 3. This is the green, so you can see here um, that uh, cool um, dithery effect that's from the different uh, brightnesses. So I, I you know, select, I think, diff uh, one out of 16 uh, different brightnesses. And you can also see it does font scrolling very well. Um, it all happens over I2C, so it's really easy to adjust. And then I can, this is green, and I'm gonna be terrible and maybe hot swap. Why are hot swapping? Show, many, show how many days are left till PyCon. Oh, we, yeah, sure. Yeah, put that on there. Cause By I, the way, see, okay. 53 days, 11 Still have some hours, time. time. You still have time. <laughs> All right, let's see if this totally breaks everything. I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm a bad person. Okay, so let's try. I think this is the warm white. And then just give me a what's moment. The P, what's PWM frequency? I don't call. Uh, check the... Check the data sheet. There's a request for I, for pink down the road too. I would like to get pink Ilya. Should probably get. So this is, I think, the this is the cool white. I think, or maybe this is the warm white. These must be the warm white. Um, so very similar, but it's white instead of green. Okay. And then let's see if I can find. Maybe I didn't bring the blue one. Oh wait, this is blue. I'm gonna show off the blue one, and then we'll have other colors shortly. We're just starting with these my python codes like why did the i2c device disappear and this is blue so okay. three different colors eight by six 128 leds total and um the lovely thing is it works with our circuit python library so you can use our circuit python code and uh use frame buffer to do text and drawing and stuff and then um it also you can use pillow to make a frame buffer with whatever you want and then like display that into the display and uh, yeah, you just write the whole thing out as I squared C. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Ooh.